I want the top. Here's part two of the YZ125 rebuild. Um, just got the swing arm bolt out, which is there. Um, now the motor's completely free, except just got to take the chain off, and the swing arm's not even connected anymore. So it looks like a bit of a chopper at the moment. And yeah, and also I found out why she's um, blown up. The main bearing in there, so now it's moving slightly, but that was completely locked up before. So obviously the main bearing's locked up, and then it's just snapped under pressure. Right, so now what we're doing is removing the uh, front sprocket guard in order to take the front sprocket off, or just the chain off for now to free up the motor completely as we've loosened everything off. Now, once you do that, I'll continue recording. So I've just taken the motor out. Um, so that's all that's left of the bike at the moment. Uh, here's the motor over here. Got to get that off. Probably can get it off now. Yeah, John, I can get it off now. And, um, yeah, parts are still coming from America. So, soon, hopefully next week, the weekend should be up and running. Now, what we've done is we've shoved the screwdriver in here to stop it from turning over because I should have taken the sprocket off earlier, but oh well, do it now. Got it. Um, if that comes off, then you got this rubbish, and that comes off. Sprockets off. Um, how many teeth is this? I think it's a 13 one. 13 or 14 tooth, I can't remember. Um, yeah, now we're just going to inspect the reed block. Just taking the reed block off. These were done up with an air ratchet, so one of my mates air ratchets, so they're a bit tight. But this one's been cut. It's hard to get to. Mm-hmm. That one we're gonna have to use a spanner for. Hold on, grab it. So I had to get myself one of these terrible. For some reason it's a BMW spanner, so I don't have a spanner set. So I just take this off and inspect the reed cage. Hopefully it's alright so I don't have to replace it. Just maybe clean it out. And the last one. They look, none of them are broken, and they haven't got any metal in them, which is really good. It's a good sign. I've never replaced this since I've had the bike for two years. <laughs> I'm not sure if these are stock. Don't even know. I know they're definitely not V-Force 3s. Yeah, that's what it looks like in there. Um, next, I'll probably take off the gear lever. Gear lever off. Hasn't, I haven't taken it off ever since I've got it. So she's a bit seized. And very greased and oiled up. But all the teeth are still there. And all the teeth are still here, but that's Frankston MX track for you. Fucking sand everywhere. Just taking off the magneto cover. Have a look inside there. So I just um, took off the magneto cover, which is here. Don't want to flip it upside down because I got all the bolts sitting in the top. John, there's one missing. And um, yeah, it's a magneto, which looks pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, see how she locks up. Stupid. Oh well. Um, and here's the new case. Um. 
Still, it's really dirty and it looks really rusty, but it just needs a good clean, if you ask me. It's all come off pretty easily so far. Now, we're just hopefully going to remove the casing. There you go. And just wiggle it off. There you go. And that's the clutch cover. Gasket looks pretty neat. Doesn't look like it's ever been open since new. Um, here's my clutch. Clutch plates. And you got all these. And once you take all these off, I think there's a spring in them. Now we're in the process of taking the clutch plates out. Here are all the, uh, I don't know what they are, springs. Just got to put it in order. And get back to you once it's all out. Just taking all the plates out of the clutch basket. It's the basket. Um, here are my plates. They're sitting in oil. Got them all there. Not sure if they need to be replaced. I have to get Dad's mate to have a look at them. Um, yeah, that's all for now. Um, stay tuned for part three.